Hey gang, this is Alex. Um, in the previous video, the number of which will appear right there, I picked this herd padlock, and I mentioned that it has both a that it has a removable core, but that we would gut it um, in a separate video. Well, I'm actually not going to gut this one um, because I don't want to risk taking the retaining pin out because I'm not sure I can get it back in. So interestingly, and how I know that they're that they are interchangeable or that the cores were removable is that the other lock that the uh, eBay seller sent me has no spring and uh, has no retaining pin. The pin would go right in that hole and what happens is this, well if I hadn't started pulling that half moon out, this fits up in here and then there's a pin that comes in from inside where the shackle is that, uh, that seats it. So anyway, I was going to gut this and um, I realized that um, and the key they gave me doesn't work great, um, that it, you have to remove at least this piece of brass to, uh, um, to, get it, to get the plug out. So that took a little bit of um, persuasion and I'm trying to get it out without damaging it further. And I'm hoping now, yeah, that this will with a little bit of help come out. And I have a bad feeling that there's some other retain... Nope, there it goes. Okay. Now the problem is going to be following it, which I should have planned ahead for because it does have a weird tailpiece. And where's my shim? I've got a follower already for it, but no shim. Um, Five of them. I've never had I've never had a herd to lock apart non-destructively before, so I'm kind of happy about this. So here's the shell with uh, the pin, with the uh, pins installed or the uh, plugs installed. This part goes up into the lock, this end, um, kind of like this. That. It's got some burrs on it from where I was getting that ring off. Um, this little hole here, there's a, there would be a set pin that goes in there, but um, that seems to be missing in this one. And then there's this half moon shaped piece of brass, a little wedge, that goes in, in through the, the um, shell and retains the plug like that and was a pain in the ass to get out. Um, it was swaged in there pretty severely. Um, this is quite gooey inside. I haven't tried to lubricate this at all, but um, it's quite a mess in there. Um, old graphite and grease and God knows what. Um, the tailpiece here, this end, is actuates the ball bearings directly. So the ball bearings rest against this. So when it's in the locked position, they're here and then when you unlock it, they're able to fall in this way. So even though you can get a probe or something all the way up into the top of the lock, there's nothing you can really do without turning the, without turning the plug. And then this little cutout here um, engages with, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little pin here, a little brass pin that's been driven through. And I believe the idea there is that, uh, and that probably is what was keeping me from rotating it out, um, that um, uh, restricts the rotation of the plug. And apparently it means you can only pull it out when it's aligned that way. So possibly because of all the other holes or various other things that are in here. Um, so it could get bound up. So anyhow, um, there we go. Herd, um, padlock, um, gutted. And uh, no security pins, just straight up old school American precision. Anyway, um, these are fun little locks if you can get a hold of them. 
Um, I haven't seen drivers this tiny in a while. And you can see how tall these key pins are. So this is pin five. Um, so pin three looks like. Yeah, that's a good one there. So you can see how little travel there is for those to come up. And that key, which is there it is. You can see the, the very whacked out bidding on there, those incredibly low cuts. You get the key in. Actually, I'm just put it in like that. Um, and this key is a little wonky, but you know, it just barely works. So a little hard to navigate in there. You stick a, a lot of picks in there, and it will make a mess. And if you look at if you were to look at the key on the other one, it had a major high low. So anyway, very interesting key. No no warding at all. Just this little just this little step here. Um, and there you are. Hurt block, gutted, and uh, explainified. So, um, let's see, is there anything else about this lock? Not really. Double ball bearing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Alex, uh, thanks for watching. Have fun. And as always, please keep it legal. Cheers.